Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, I'm not very well. Well, I haven't been very well. Unfortunately, I started with quite a heavy rotten cold on Friday last week. Um, this is just SPF 50. And um, my husband had had a cold the week before. Um, and I just felt really not well. Sort of worse than a cold almost. Sort of really tight in my chest and just not I always get a bad chest if I get a cold but really not very well anyway I um my daughter happened to be around on Friday and she said have you tested for Covid and I wouldn't have even thought of it to be honest I know it's still a thing but I can't kind of it wasn't the first thing on my mind I just assumed I had a cold and of course we've been over to Danny's graduation uh, last week which is the only place I can think where I've been around lots and lots of other people. But anyway, I tested myself and it was positive. So I have COVID. Um, I wasn't even sure what the current guidelines are. I'm just sure, I've run out of my normal SPF and I picked this up in um, uh, Aldi. It's the Lacura Sun Sensitive Face Sun Lotion. It's the, this is an SPF 30. Um, I'm just looking, Dave's used it and because we bought one each just to keep us going until we'd got our, our normal one from Amazon um, and he said it was fine but of course he doesn't wear makeup so I'm, I'm giving it a try this morning see what I think, not that I'm going anywhere but I thought I'll see how it works under my makeup I'm just going to pop a bit of moisturiser over the top my skin is so so dry because I've had this cold today, this Covid thing, today is the first day that I've put anything on other than moisturiser. I haven't worn makeup for, today's Monday, I haven't worn makeup for four days. Um, so yeah, it's a bit odd. I promised myself I would do a weekly vlog this week and although I'm not feeling 100%, I was determined to start it this morning. So I have to go off suddenly, I'm filming on my phone, but I rang the dentist this morning because I'm due to have my treatment uh the operate little operation in my mouth to start the implant surgery uh on thursday so i'm hoping they're happy for me to come the current guideline says uh isolate for five days i'm on day four now um and avoid sort of people who are vulnerable so i've, I've given my mum and dad a very wide berth i've not been near them or been into their little annex or had anything to do with them for a few days. I keep hearing my mum saying today, if I was Julie today, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'd, I'd be so devastated if my mum and dad got it. My mum is pretty robust other than she has really severe arthritis, but my dad, as you know, has got prostate cancer and is quite fragile and I'd be terrified of him catching it. So I've given him a very wide berth. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for the dentist to ring me back. She, they said, do you feel all right to come in? And I said, I actually, day four, I feel much better today. Hence, I'm picking the camera up. I wouldn't have done otherwise. I'm still a bit croaky. I'm a bit coffee. I've got a glass of water here in case I have a coffee and think, well, I'm chatting to you. But, um, yeah, other than that, I don't feel quite as bad today. The worst thing has been the debilitating, banging headache that I've had for several days. So, today, I feel just slightly slightly better so I didn't feel up to washing my hair um my hair wash I washed it on Saturday morning because it was desperate and just let it dry so it's been back for a few days um I'm coming up to my hair appointment at the beginning of August so I'm excited for that um so yeah it's just great back um Dave's gone off to do uh, normally on a Monday we go and take my mother-in-law for her food shopping she's 86 so we sort of set her up for the week get a food shopping get any cash she needs out of the machine, um, all that stuff. So I obviously couldn't go this morning because she's she would be classed as vulnerable, although she's a very healthy 86. Um, I just didn't want to risk it. So Dave's gone um, to sort his mum out. Um, and so we'll be back at lunchtime. He doesn't normally work on a Monday, so he's normally around on a Monday. So that'll be nice when he gets back. Um, and yeah, I'm just doing my skincare and I thought I would just pop on and say hello. I've got a couple of bits and pieces to share with you this week. So, um, as I said, today's Monday, so I'll pick the camera up later on when I've got something more exciting to share with you. Okay, that's my makeup done. 
Uh, I'm just wearing the Catrice um, Sparkling Guava. This is the powerful, uh, it's like a lip balm type. It's just a, a wash of colour, but it's perfect for days like this when you don't want to faff about. So just throw that on. And I'm just going to put some of my uh, Maybelline uh, Lifter Gloss over the top. This one's in petal. Um, and I'm wearing glasses today because my eyes are sore and they're watery. I just don't want to mess around with contact lenses today, so that's what I'm wearing. I'm loving the new e.l.f. makeup that I got. I've got the e.l.f. Um, Soft Glam Satin Foundation. Uh, my colour is Light Cool 23. I'm loving that. You can either... It's very buildable, so you can wear it really lightweight, like I've got it on today, or you can build it up. It just evens everything out. I'm really enjoying that. I'm loving the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand blush. I use a little bit on my eye eyelids as well and I've been using it on my cheeks it just gives a soft glow and blush it's really 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 nice I've got elf um on my eyebrows the instant lift brow pencil in top on my eyebrows um yeah I'm loving the the new elf products that I got if you've not seen that video I will link it I did a full face of makeup using the elf the new elf products so yeah, um, I thought what I would do as well is show you my outfit of the day because I'm wearing this new top that I got from Roman. Again, you can see that in a haul video that I did recently. Um, and I've got my loose fit um, black trousers that I was talking about in my capsule wardrobe video part one. Um, and I said, oh, I wish I could get another pair of these. I scoured m and and found that they had them in navy blue so I've ordered them. Dave's going to pick them up for me this afternoon so um, I'll show you the ones I've got on and then when the new ones come in I'll show you those as well. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of um, English Pear and Freesia Jo Malone on. However, I can't smell it. <laughs> so if I, if I go over the top, I can, I can just about smell it, just a tiny bit in the background. I went in the garden yesterday after everyone had sort of finished for the day. I went and had a wander around just to get some fresh air. And I was stood next to the sweet peas and I had my nose right in them. Couldn't smell anything. Everything tastes the same, very bland. It's a weird sensation. You know you're eating beans on toast or whatever it is you're eating. And you know the texture very well, but there's just no taste. I'm hoping that's going to sort of settle down in the next few days. I, I believe when COVID was rife that there was a bit of a trick you could do to get your taste buds back. Sorry, I've turned the light off. No, you can't see me. Um, to get your taste buds back working, if anybody knows what that is. I don't know. But um, yeah, so this is me for today. I will just do a quick outfit of the day with you. This is a big improvement on the last few days because I've had pyjamas on every day. Uh, so it had to be comfortable whatever I wore today. So I've just got this really nice loose fitting khaki top from Roman. Um, I can't remember how much it was. If it's still available, I'll link it for you. And these are the trousers that I was talking about. I, abs I absolutely love them. They've got like a big square pocket on the front, so nice deep pockets, and then a wide leg. Again, they're pretty much like wearing pyjamas. And as I said, I've ordered them in the Navy and I've got my Mashulu um, flatbed sandals on just so that I've not got slippers on. So I look like I'm ready for the day, even if I don't feel it. So. Yeah, uh, I'm feeling glad that I've got up and got dressed and got sorted today. I feel a bit out of breath. I think that's the chest thing I've got going on. So I will keep an eye on that. But yeah, that's where I'm up to. I also wanted to mention this to you as well. Let's just go in my dressing room. Um, when I did my capsule wardrobe, quite a few people mentioned this jewellery holder that I have in here. I love it as well. Uh, people say what a good idea and it's brilliant. My jewellery is really in a nice place it doesn't get tangled up i can see it all so i wear it more than i would do before um and this was from vintage however you can get these on amazon i will link the, the uh, jewelry holder below for you i'm thinking of getting maybe a um a smaller one to just put above and maybe hang earrings on i tend to keep my earrings that i wear on a day-to-day -day basis in this little uh, tray here with watches and a crochet hook apparently <laughs> and my sunglasses but um yeah i was thinking i might just hang another one up there and put my earrings on and um, but yeah i'll link it for you if i can find one similar i'll link it for you
It's a really good job that I enjoy my living room because this has been my view for the last four days. I have been sat in this chair, unable to do anything. Now, as you know, I've just been upstairs to get ready and I'm all out of breath. I think um, I think it might take me longer than I think to get over. It's, it's the chest thing that always gets me. I always end up with a bit of a, a sore chest and sometimes a chest infection. So I'm hoping that that passes. It's something that runs in the family. I've never smoked. I'm not a smoker. Um, it's just unfortunately the way the way things like this get me. So yeah, it's not a brilliant day. It's kind of overcast, um, but it's w quite warm, unless that's just a temperature I've got, but it feels warm to me. So yeah, not the best sunny day, but we have had a reasonable weekend. And of course I've been stuck inside, not being able to enjoy it. Oh, never mind. Enough moaning, Julie. Good morning on Tuesday. Um, I think I'm a little bit better. Still got this awful dry sore throat and I feel a bit chesty today as if I'm sort of struggling with breathing, but yeah, I'm sure it'll pass. Um, so I'm still isolating today, so I'm not going anywhere. Um, I've just filmed a video, um, which you'll have already seen when you see this vlog, so I hope you enjoyed that. It's around um, my wide leg trousers. I did pick up those Na well, Dave pick, picked up the navy ones for me yesterday, so I'll just pop a clip in and show you those. Good morning on Tuesday. I'm <clears throat> still a little bit croaky, but I'm definitely getting there, feeling a little bit better every day. So before we started this morning, I just wanted to show you, I picked up yesterday afternoon. I didn't pick the camera up again yesterday. I think I did a little bit too much and I was tired in the afternoon. I ended up having a nap. Um, yeah, so I just didn't uh, didn't feel great, but I'm better today again. So I'm going to try not to go crazy today. Um, but I wanted to show you a picked up. You know, I talked about the um, black wide leg trousers with the pockets and the elasticated waist from Marx's. The 2250 these, I think they're fantastic value. Um, they're a regular as well, and I'm only five three, and they fit me fine. They're just a, the right length. Um, so yeah, I picked up the navy blue ones. They don't have any other colours that I can see, but I, I couldn't resist buying the navy blue ones. So I did a click and collect and Dave went and picked them up for me yesterday. I think I'm officially out of quarantine today, but um, yeah, so I haven't worn them yet, but I might pop them on today. I'm going to film a video with these uh, trousers, just showing how, trying to show how versatile they are really, how you can dress them up, dress them down. It could well have been out by the time you actually see this one so keep your eyes peeled um yeah just thought i'd mention those if anybody's interested i will try and link them below for you uh, and yeah what i forgot to do today now film the video so i've got to edit it and upload it um i've got some nice lights that i was sent uh some garden lights which i want to show you um i'm also going to try and stay awake uh, until it's dark tonight so I can show you them in the garden um I really need to wash my makeup brushes uh they're here on the side I've separated them out don't know about you but I've got two big pots full of makeup brushes and I use about a handful I don't know why I've got all those brushes I really need to sort them out but the ones I use all the time I've pulled out um, I noticed I had a little spot on my cheek this morning now I don't know whether that's because my makeup brushes need using because I'm under the weather need cleaning or whether I'm, it's because I'm under the weather or whether it's that sun cream I tried on yesterday you know the SPF 30 from Aldi so I don't think I'll risk that again I've given it to Dave because <laughs> he can use anything on his on his face honestly um, so I've given that to him and I think I'm going to go back to my beloved altruist, which um, I've got an order from Amazon. Um, so yeah, I need to wash my makeup brushes. I need to have a bit of lunch. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to organise dinner. I'm not sure though. I might actually see what time Dave's arriving home and I might send him out to get a pizza because I just don't feel like it at the moment. Sorry it's a bit lacklustre this, this video, but I was determined I was going to do um, a weekly vlog for you. I've been pr promising to start it for quite a while. So I had a shower this morning and washed my hair, sort of curled it under a little bit with the straighteners just so it looks like I've made a bit of an effort. But yeah, I'm not, I'm still not, definitely not 100%. Um, so yeah, let me show you those lights I was talking about. 
Okay, these little lights I keep meaning to show you. They're by Quintus. They're the LED Solar Landscape Spotlight. Now, they do them in three colours. I got mine in a warm uh, light. I prefer a warm. They do them in cool light and they do a multicolour as well. You get four in the box. Um, they're also on and off themselves. They're waterproof and they're 100% solar powered. Um, and, yeah, they're, they're nice and bright, actually. They come in this box. Um, let me open the box and show you what, what they're like. So I've just pulled out a few bits out of the box to show you. So this is the light that you get. As I said, mine's the warm light. You can put these onto a fence panel if you like, because of the shape of them, they will sit on the fence. Um, they get the solar panel at the top. As I said, mine were already charged. Then you get this um, spike. So they, they sit on top of there. You just pop it on top, push that into the soil, um, and yeah, that, that's how they work. That's the little USB charger you get if you want to charge them, but mine were already charged. Um, and the um, instruction book club, well, they're really super easy to use. So um, what I'll do is show them to you in uh, the light, the dark tonight, so you can see how they work. So I've managed to stay awake so I can come outside while it's going dark to show you this new bed that we've created at the front. And this is one of the, one of the lights in situ. I'm really pleased with it and as it gets darker it becomes brighter we still need to fill this bed with quite a few extra plants but yeah I'm really enjoying these new new lights let me show you the ones around the back so this is the one in my little lilac and purple flower bed that is uh, just lighting up at the top of the steps which looks really really nice and we've also placed one down at the bottom of the garden. I'm just going to zoom in so you can have a quick look at that. On the new bed we created down there. I've got one of the lights down there. It's lighting that little area up. And then we've got one just here lighting this. Oh, let me go back and let me zoom out. Lighting this flower bed up. Just one there. So that's all the four lights. So really, really pleased with how these have turned out super impressed I think I might get some more for perhaps for for that bed just so that the areas we want lit up at night are lit up yeah really impressed good morning on Wednesday look at that sky now we did have some rain in the night but at the moment it is glorious sorry this tree has grown you used to be able to see right down the street and it's sort of <clears throat> in full leaf, but also we're getting quite a lot of leaves on the grass. So even though it's summer, I can feel autumn coming. Uh, not yet, please. Um, but yeah, glorious. I think what I'm going to do this morning is do some washing and try and peg it out while the weather's like this. So fingers crossed I can dry it outside. Good morning. I'll come back. So today is Wednesday, as I've shown you, we've got a lovely, bright, sunny day. Um, I did my hair yesterday and curled it, but the, I always need to recurl the um, front. This bit always wants to get flat, so I just usually sort of separate this little bit out and put a couple of curls in the front just so I get another day out of it. Um, yeah, so I'm doing that at the moment. Um, my plan is to do all my washing today. I think I'm finally starting to feel better, which is good. Um, I had my cereal and yoghurt as normal this morning and I could taste the fruit, I could taste the strawberries. Not not completely, but I could taste that they were um, sweet, which I've not been able to taste for quite a few days. So that, that was good. <laughs> Um, I also think when I washed my face this morning, I could smell my cleanser, which again, I've not been able to smell. So I'm hoping by the, you know, by Friday maybe that we're, I'm in a position where things are pretty much back to normal, fingers crossed. So the plan for today is, um, I'm going to sort my hair out. I need to organise my medication because it's Wednesday and I never have anything left in my um, plastic container so um, I'm going to do that and um, on that day I always look if I need to reorder any medication I have um, 
my form to fill out for the dentist. Whenever you go to the, my dentist, you have to um, fill in a medical form just to say if you're on any new medication or anything like that. Plus, I'm having uh, my operation tomorrow. So I did ring them to tell them I'd had COVID and they said it was fine to come um, because I was out of the um, recommended... Um, isolation period so um which is good didn't want to cancel it really because it's something i'm not really looking forward to and i thought yeah just get it i just want it done and out of the way so i can concentrate on getting better and think about my nice new implants when i get them which is going to be several months yet you know you've got to wait while everything heals after the operation so um so yeah there's that um I thought I would do some washing today, so I've got one load in. Um, yeah, I've got one load in the washing machine and another one waiting to go in. Um, and then at the weekend, once I'm completely over this um, illness, I'm going to wash the bedding and the towels. I just feel like everything needs to be freshened and clean, just in case there's any, still any germs lurking around. So that will do for today. Um, what else am I doing today? I need to pop to Morrison's um, this afternoon. I need a couple of bits. Just store a couple of bits, nothing very exciting. Um, and then after tea, when we've all finished work for the day, <clears throat> we're going to walk down to our local pub with my um, daughter and her husband. We we sort of usually have a house chat, um, usually at the weekend actually, but we've not had time and because it's a nice day. We thought we'd walk down and sit outside just in case I've, I mean, I'm out of the, um, what's the word? <clears throat> the period that you've got to isolate, uh, I'm out of that now. So that's fine. But I thought if we sit outside, lots of fresh air and it'd probably be safer. So that's what we're going to do later on. So, um, that's why I'm making a little bit more of an effort than I would normally do on a Wednesday. So I've got my trusty wide leg trousers on. I'll show you my outfit in a second. Um, I also don't wear this very often and it's one of my favourites. It's like a little, um, can you see that? It's like a little eye, um, like an evil eye thing. It's a gold one. My mum gave me this and she also gave me, I've got matching earrings as well, which I might put in later on. <clears throat> So, I always forget that you can't see me if I turn that light out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get my washing out, sort out my medication, fill my forms in, um, and I still haven't washed my brushes. So, here they are. These are the ones that I use. Um, so, we can go in the bathroom and I will do those before we disappear downstairs. So quick outfit of the day. Today I've got on this uh, phase eight sort of stripey shirt, candy stripe almost with the cutaway detail, um, which I really like. Um, I always forget I've got um, my navy, new navy trousers from Marx's, navy sandals and just a, a white vest top. Um, and I'll just pop my stripey navy bag over the top. Um, so yeah, that's today's outfit of the day. Okay, I'm really hoping you can see me. I've kind of balanced you in the corner there. So, how I wash my brushes. I washed all that came from finding my style washer brushes the other day and I thought, oh God, I really must wash my brushes. So, what I use is this little um, brush egg. So, <clears throat> and it's just like a, um, it's got ridges on and a little bit more finer detail at the top there. And what I do is I get each brush I put some soap on here. I usually use liquid soap, hand soap, whatever I'm using. I don't buy special soap for washing my brushes. Um, run the tap, I usually sort of get it deep warm. And then uh, I take the first brush, put some soap on there, wet it, and then kind of keep playing with it until it's um, all clean. <clears throat> until I still can't see any any colour. So I'm going to get on with that. Okay, so once they're all washed, you can get these brush eggs by the way just from any of the cheaper shops like B&M or Home Bargains. Once they're all washed, I sort of give every one of them a good 
uh, rub on a towel to take the most of the uh, water out, which I find works well. And then I usually just sit them in the sun somewhere warm. I know that you're not supposed to dry brushes um, like that. You're supposed to dry them like that. Otherwise the water goes down and loosens the bristles. So I always dry them on the side kind of thing. Yeah, that's an easy job done. I don't know why I put it off so much, but it just it's just one of those things I just dislike doing. And then I've got to faff about and wait for my brushes to dry so I can use them. And I'm not somebody who goes days without makeup, so I like to have my brushes to hand. Anyway, enough moaning. That's another job done. Okay, I'm going to take a moment because it's quiet at the moment. There's a chap drilling across the way there. Um, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, he keeps switching it on and off, but while it's quiet I will just quickly show you what I want to show you. So I've pegged Dave flushing out because the majority of it is his. Um, he was working in a loft with fibreglass yesterday and everything was covered in those horrible scratchy bits. So we put everything in the wash and I've, I've washed it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you how glorious these dahlias are. I don't think they were out last time I showed you the garden. Just look at this, these are my very favourite flowers, I love a dahlia. So yeah, we've got these, there's one in bud there, we've got a couple more buds there. And the sweet peas are finally climbing the uh, climbing the poles. We've had such rubbish weather that it's, they've taken a while to get going, but they are going now. And I've had quite a few vases have cut flowers off them. I always saw this Ian's bed because this is my son-in-law's bed, but he's got some gorgeous bright flowers in here at the moment and he's filled some gaps with some new bits and bobs. Um, yeah, they're all looking really nice. I particularly like this with the dark coloured stems here. I'm not sure what it's called. Ian would be able to tell me, but yeah, I really like that one. But I want to, what I wanted to show you is this um, section of the garden here. So it all looks great up there, but then when we come to this bit, it's obviously a tip. But this area is going to be our outdoor kitchen. So you can see there's some hard standing, some sort of pavers down. Then there's this little lean to thing, which I think the chap before maybe had dried wood it under. And then he's got the fretwork at the back. And beyond that is like a little potting shed, which is falling to pieces. It's a real, it's a death trap. You can't go in there. So our plan is, it looks bigger than it does on here. Our plan is to clear this possibly this weekend get rid of you know move the logs to a better place because we do have a, a wood burner so we will we will they won't be wasted collect all the bits of kindling etc give this table a wipe because it's fine and we've got four um wooden chairs that we could put round it and i think because the, with the best will in the world the kitchen garden is not going to get done this year but if we can just clear this area out give it a good clean it's somewhere else for people to um sit so yeah i'm showing you the before um hopefully next week i can show you the the after but yeah it's quite a big space actually it's bigger than you would think this is our old barbecue we thought we might try and turn that into a planter but yeah there's some posts in the ground i think they have had a sort of a pergola here at some point uh, we may need to extend this bottom bit uh, because we're not sure it's big enough for what we want to do but yeah there's um there's lots of clearing to do um, and of course then it goes on and on and on we've got the rest of the gardens clear but um, yeah that's our plan okay I'm going to stop talking because he's off with his power drill again the chap across the way so I'll, I'll turn you off good morning on Thursday hope you're all well I'm just getting myself ready for the day <clears throat> Um, I'm having my up today, my uh, teeth up, uh, so I'm having my gum cut and the placement of the, whatever they put into you, like a screw I think, into your jaw for the two implants I'm having, so not looking forward to that at all, <laughs> but it's got to be done, so that's this afternoon, later this afternoon. Um, so I thought I'd get myself ready. I'm, I've just scraped my hair back. I'm not, I'm dressed very comfortably. I've scraped my hair back. I don't want to be uncomfortable, um, 
I want to be as comfortable as possible before I have it done because I know that this afternoon I'm not going to feel like doing anything at all so um yeah so I'm just getting myself ready I'm just going to wear a, a really light makeup I'll just take my hair out when I get there and then put it back up when when she's done just so I can lay flat back on the bed um I've got some uh antibiotics some amoxicillin tablets and she's given me four which you've got to take before uh, the operation so she said have your lunch take them at lunch time um, I think it's just to prevent any kind of infection so I've got that today um, I've also got to film a video this morning and then I think I'm about two weeks in front with my videos which is good because I think next week I might have a very easy week um, just do what I feel like doing because I, I want to give myself time to recover and then it's just a case of going back in two weeks for the stitches out and then it's a case of just leaving it alone to heal before I um, go and get the actual implants put in which I'm hoping will be before Christmas which would be nice so yeah we went out last night down to the pub um, as I said we just had a little walk and a couple of couple of drinks which was nice um what else oh I've, i'm going to film um a couple of people have asked me about my daughter's bed, uh, bathroom that my husband's done for her uh, well my daughter and son-in-law's bedroom and so i'm going to put a li little clip in for you um of the update on that it's done other than um he's fitting a new radiator this morning and they want to change the window in there they've got believe it or not in a bathroom a floor to ceiling door instead of a window which is fine in the summer <clears throat> well it's not really fine in the summer number one it's awkward because you can't stand with the window open because you can be seen from the back so it's it's not very private and also it's difficult in winter because if you want your window open for ventilation they have to open the whole door which is not ideal it's cold you know obviously cold in winter so um this morning Dave's ordering them a new window and he's going to fit that for them but other than that the, the actual bathroom fitting is all done and decorated and it's looking really nice so I will as I said I'll pop a clip in for you to have a look at that uh, and yeah that's that's today really um I also want to do an online food shop. I started, do, I, I might have mentioned this to you before. I started um, one of the Tesco, you know, you can buy the monthly delivery plan. Um, and we decided to do that about, perhaps about six weeks ago now. I think it costs around six pounds a month, something like that. So instead of paying every week for shopping to be delivered, you, um, you pay a monthly small amount. I mean, I've already well made my money back, um, but we're really liking having the food shopping delivered. It just, neither of us have really got time to go and mess around food shopping. And I also find it just means I only buy what I need. I sort of do a bit of an inventory of the cupboards and the fridge before I do the shop. Just book a slot online. Usually book it for Friday evening to be delivered. Um, and to be honest, when you've worked all week, we've both been busy. The last thing you feel like doing on a Friday is going food shopping. And I'm always so relieved it's just being delivered to the front door. Um, and generally, I do get... Occasionally, they sort of try and swap things out. But generally, I get what I've, what I've ordered. Um, yeah, and that's working really well for us. So I'm also saving the... Um, I've got hair on my face. I'm also saving the club card vouchers. I thought I'd just save them for for Christmas time so so yeah <clears throat> I need to do that today Dave's not normally around on a Thursday but he's here today because he's um, fitting Sam's radiator you can probably hear some drilling in the background I don't know if you can hear it or not um, so yeah uh, he can help me because I, really, I don't know about you guys but I really struggle sometimes to sort of know what to eat on you know what should we have on this day much I run out of ideas, so I'm going to get him to help me to decide this week, which is always a bit of a bonus. So yeah, that's 
that's what's happening today. So it's cloudy and a little bit breezy, but it's not, I can't say it's cold, it doesn't feel cold, but yeah, it's definitely not a bright summer's day. We had quite a nice couple of days during the week. It wasn't bad at all. We managed to even sit out in the garden one day. So, yeah. Just put my makeup on. As you can see, I'm going very minimal. What are you guys watching on the TV at the moment? We started the new, if you have Disney, we don't have Disney generally, but I did get it last night. It was 4.99 for the month. I'm just gonna keep it for the month, I think. Um, and we started the new Will Trent um, show. It's like a, he's like a, what is he? He's an investigative agent for, it's like an FBI agent, that type of thing. Dave and I have both read all the Karen Slaughter books on based on around Will Trent. And we watched the first season a couple of years ago and really enjoyed it and noticed there was a new season on. So we put that on last night and watched the first one of those and it it was good. We do like him as a as a character. So we're enjoying that. I watched uh I started to watch, is it called the Jetty? Now, funnily enough. The jetty is filmed around the area where I live. Um, so we were interested in it for that. And we got about 20 minutes in. Um, it's very dark and quite miserable. And it's really not like that around here. <laughs> anyway, um, they filmed, if you know um, Happy Valley with Sarah Lancashire, that was also filmed around where I live. And again, that's a bit grim, although a fantastic see series. But we got about 20 minutes in and we both said there was a particular, I'm not going to discuss it, but there was a particular thing in a, um, on a farm that we just both said, I don't think there's any need for that. It was just, and we both went, oh, so we turned it off. We decided against it. Um, so we didn't watch that. But as I said, I watched the Will Trent thing and really quite enjoyed it. And neither of us approved at all, but it just wasn't, wasn't the one. I don't, I don't really understand what it was in there for. It was obviously trying to push the boundaries and shock us a little bit. And it, and it did shock me. And I thought it just made me think, I don't want to watch this. So if you watched The Jetty, let me know what you think. You'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I didn't personally, didn't enjoy it. So I'm just waffling now. So I'm going to go and finish my makeup, get myself ready for the day. And um, as I said, I'll pop a, a clip in of the new bathroom now it's now it's finished for you. And I'll pick the camera up again when I'm going off to the, the dentist probably later on. Okay, a quick bathroom update for you guys. Um, isn't this gorgeous, this um, double sink unit? They love it. Green tiles, a new mirror is on the wall. There's a full length uh, window there that that's going to be changed into a half window. That's all that there is left to do. But the flooring's done. The bath is done with the nice new shower. Um, yeah, they love it. My son-in-law's really quite tall, so that's very high but he's very happy with it so yeah and then in this corner they've got a little um storage unit yeah all looking really good so yeah i just thought i'd give you a little a little update just a, a new towel rail to go on that that wall there which Dave's going to do this morning actually so yeah other than that it's all done and they're very very pleased with it just look at these pretty flowers we picked out of the garden a couple of days ago some sweet peas and I'm not sure what the orange ones are but I just thought they looked so lovely um, unfortunately I can't smell them at the moment <laughs> Still got no sense of smell from the COVID, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying them. 
Okay, it's lunchtime. I'm just going to have my lunch. Um, I fancy cheese on toast. I never have cheese on toast, but I just fancy it today. So that's what I'm going to have. And I'm going to watch the final episode of The Sewing Bee because I've not watched it yet. So I'm going to sit and have a chilled out hour before I have to go. Just to say if I don't pick the camera up later, it's obviously because I'm not feeling very well. But I'll do my best to. If not, I'll, I will see you tomorrow. But if I'm feeling anything like, I will pick you the camera up and let you know how I've gone on. Good evening, everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a terrible angle and I'm not looking at my best. But... I just wanted to check in and tell you that I'd had my little operation on my mouth. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, no, let me hold it this way. That's better. Um, so, yeah, I'm in bed. Um, that was quite a few hours ago now. Had that done about three-ish. Um, it was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, so they make you very numb, very numb. Um, that was the worst bit, actually, the, you know, the little scratches when you have the injection. Um, so the, she gave me the numb, the injections to numb my mouth. And then I was in there about an hour, um, not painful at all during the operation. I didn't feel anything at all. Um, a lot of pressure. And I think the worst thing was you've got to keep your mouth, they put a mouth guard in so, so that sort of keeps your mouth open. And that's the worst thing because you feel you feel like you need to close your mouth and you want to swallow. I think that's the worst thing. Um, but they were lovely, really good. And um, Dave drove me home and I felt numb for about an hour and a half, two hours afterwards. Um, as soon as it started to wear off, I think it looks a little bit swollen, actually. As soon as it started to wear off, I could feel it's starting to ache. So I took some painkillers. Um, I'm going to take some more before I go to sleep tonight. But I don't feel, too, it, I might not look great, but I don't feel too bad. I've had a bath and took my makeup off and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, glad it's done. Very, very glad it's done. And don't feel as ill as I thought I was going to. It might be different dur during the night. Maybe I've still got some of the anaesthetic in there. Um, so yeah, that was that. So I've got to go back in two weeks to have the stitches out. That's that's a strange sensation because I can feel the ends of the stitches in my mouth if I just sort of touch it with my tongue, which feels odd. Um, but I did manage to eat a little bit of uh, my tea tonight. Um, so yeah, all done. Thank goodness. So um, I'm going to try and get an early night tonight. Um, I've got to start seven days of rinsing with salt water, warm water and, and salt um, three times a day over the next seven days. So, uh, I, you know, follow the instructions to the letter. Um, and yeah, and then hopefully within, you know, three or four months, I'll have my, my actual implants. And I'll be able to smile again, <laughs> which I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not doing a lot of smiling and I'm very conscious that I've got a little gap on that side. So, um, I'll be really glad when it when it's all done and complete. So I'm going to have um, a little warm drink, I think, just a lukewarm because I can't drink anything red hot. Um, have an early night, have a little read, have an early night. And then hopefully I'll be back on form tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow for Friday. Bye for now. Good morning. Welcome back. It's Friday. Um, just had a quick shower. I'm going to leave my hair to air dry today. I'm planning on a, a really quiet, peaceful day. Uh, I'm not feeling great. Um, I think the anaesthetics wore off now. I'm not quite as cocky as I was yesterday. Um, so I'm planning on a day of doing not a great deal. I'm going to sit outside, have some cold water, um, read my book. Um, I've got my shopping coming tonight, so nothing exciting at all. So I think I'm going to call this a vlog. Um, as I said, it's Friday and 
yeah I'm hoping for a really nice quiet weekend so that by next week I'm back working and back to full energy levels um with having covid and then this operation i think it's kind of not the stuffing out of me so i thought i'd come on and say goodbye i hope you can hear me it's quite breezy but lovely um so yeah i thought i'd just call that a vlog thanks for watching this week i hope you've enjoyed it i've done my best even with what's been going on um hope it's not been a bit dull for you i've done my best to include as much interesting stuff as i can so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.